Hello, America and world. And this is Cindy here to share with you a very special poem dedication and tribute that I was inspired to write to encourage you during these challenging times when we're all advised to stay at home for our own personal protection and for the well-being and safety of our families, friends, and neighbors. These are challenging and difficult times, but we do not need to fear because our help is near. We always have the loving arms of God to surround us in the time of need. God will be there to help us as a nation succeed. So, if you please, the iris and coronavirus. Alas, we're all at home, you and me too. For us, this is new. So, what are the best things at home we can do? Let's rest in this test and engage our duty to think of beauty. Do you know the power of a beautiful flower named the iris? The iris is unlike coronavirus. It lends its beauty so abundantly. In a glance, its beauty can set your spirit free. Unlike the coronavirus, the iris beams onto the scene like an awakening dream. While the virus begs to spread like a plague, it will never vow or surrender to splendor. Thus, the iris, in contrast, is pure loveliness unmasked. Deadly and dangerously, the virus spreads. Sadly, it can leave one dead, but the iris is like a rainbow in the sky, appealing and appeasing to the eye. No need to cry or ask why. Of his magnanimous glory does the iris testify. So, the best thing we can do is not be annoyed, but direct contact avoid. Staying at home doesn't mean being alone. It's simply the best safety zone. Notwithstanding, you now have more time to read, more time to plant new seeds to succeed. Like an iris that grows up from the ground, let hope and confidence in God's presence surround. Tis the coronavirus is unlike the iris. The virus is global and not noble. It brings gloom, unlike the iris's blooms, that's likened to a melodious tune. The virus brings fear and torment as is sent and spent without any intent to relent or repent. Prayer, hope, and faith are the right mix to fix, not politics. God doesn't play tricks. He has real power to fix. We cannot change the things God has preordained and prearranged, but we can all call on the power of his name just the same. Moreover, his love and power are much greater than haters and much higher than liars. Nevertheless, yet and still, the iris soars with majestic beauty that roars but never bores. God knows all that a people or nation will face. It's why he extends to every race unlimited grace, sadly, and unfortunately, the virus can lead one to the grave, but the power of God Almighty saves from the grave he himself was raised. Therefore, be not amazed. Just know God saves. While at home and while finding new chores and making s'mores, remember to talk to God and ask him to open new doors on our nation's seashores chat or tweet. Just keep your thoughts sweet 
also. Never let hope slide. Have faith in God and in his words and power safely abide. God promised to heal us of all of our sicknesses and diseases as he pleases. It is simply our task to ask. The coronavirus is unlike the iris, truly. The iris sparkles like a star, and the virus claims lives by far. Always remember what God has said in his words. Have you not heard? Said he to you and to me. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. In my farewell of words and comfort and encouragement to America and to the world at large, just know God's in charge. And no weapon formed can harm when we call, just call, that's all. To all occupying God's land, hold fast to his unchanging hands, trust and obey his voice and commands. The coronavirus is unlike the iris. One is scented with fragrant perfume. The other looms with doom. Let us pray. The virus dies and the iris continues to bloom from morning to night and until noon. Yea, yea, may all say, for the iris, but not for the virus, shall we all make room for new blooms. Peace be still, as we stand still, while God heals according to his will. On this and every day, together, let us pray all of our fears away. Amen and amen. This poem dedication and tribute was written by me, Cindy, on 31620 at 840 p.m. Central Standard Time. Be encouraged, America and world. Just know we have a friend and the one who will give us a helping hand because above all, he understands. God bless you. And may God bless America. And just know that God's in charge.